Hi, I'm Nicole from Move 2022, and today I'm going to be joined by Loran Golan, who is Head of Future Mobility for Hyundai. So thank you so much for joining us today. I'm really happy to have you here. Um, so first of all, can you just tell us a little bit about the um, Future Mobility project that you've got going on? Uh, yes, definitely. So obviously under my role here in Hyundai Motor Europe, I'm adding the Future Mobility Department. Uh, we currently have various uh, mobility schemes that we're running in, in, together with our NSCs, national sales entities, uh, in various markets in Europe. Uh, I think the, the core uh, mobility initiatives that we uh, launched last year and we roll out to other countries is motion subscription, is our car subscription service. Uh, that we have in Spain and in the UK. Uh, we do have also other initiatives uh, like the residential car sharing pilot that we launched uh, um, in Utrecht in the Netherlands, which is very innovative in the sense that we also combine our latest technology that we have in, in our car, the, the V2G, allowing to uh, bring electricity back to the grid when the cars are not in use. Um, we have other uh, initiatives in, in, in the greater umbrella of Hyundai, unnecessarily under my role, but under uh, uh, my colleagues' um, supervision. One of them is the uh, hydrogen trucks that we, we, um, we offer in Switzerland as a pay-per-use service. I think I will give all those three uh, flexible ownership um, um, models that we, we run as, as case study in my presentation and MOVE. Uh, I will explain about the importance of involving uh, and, and combining uh, our technologies. For example, in the truck uh, initiatives, we, we do have the fuel cell stack in our vehicles, um, which is obviously a um, uh, cutting edge uh, engine that we develop at Hyundai to to answer the the needs of the logistic uh, uh, space, uh, and in in the other end, the as I explained before, the the vehicle to grid technology for our car sharing activities. Lovely, yeah. So obviously, like you mentioned, there there's lots of stuff going on with the future mobility project. What would you, what in your opinion, do you think is the um, the next big thing with anything that your project will be addressing? In, in general about the industry or with regards to our projects? Just with regards to your project. So what thing that um, is being developed right now do you think is going to be the next breakthrough? So obviously I, I cannot disclose what we currently yeah, yeah, uh, work, working on. <laughs> but uh, I, I, I think that you will see uh, um, um, our ex the expansion of our services to to other uh, uh, cities to other countries in the sense of of the subscription I think we will we will uh, um, roll it out uh, over Europe uh, in general and and we you will see much more mobility as a service schemes new initiatives uh, that we will launch very soon uh, in various markets very exciting. I'm trying to get a little bit more out of you there, but um, obviously can't say much. But um, so you already spoke about what you're going to be talking about at Move London. Um, but what are you excited for about the event? Um, I can imagine that you'll be going there to um, have a look at everything that's going on in the mobility world as well. So what are you hoping to gain from going and what are you looking forward to? So... Obviously, I'm looking forward to hear some great speakers that are uh, going to participate in, in, in the MOVE event in 2022. I've been there last year. I was pretty impressed with the variety of stage that you have mm -hmm. and the different topic that you can uh, learn about. Um, obviously, to understand what are the, the current um, trends and, and where the, the, the mobility environment and market is, is going to. Uh, is going to... Uh, um, uh, to develop. Um, I think that's about, I, I, I mark some things that I, I would like to, to hear about last year. I think um, 
what I really like is also the opportunity to meet uh, the 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 industry expert and, and and to do some networking on on relevant topic where we at Tundai are currently developing and obviously we we always also look to to partner up when when at, it's it's business wise uh, makes sense uh, so I think all of those will be. Um, I think all, all, all what I mentioned, I'm, I'll be looking forward to in, in, in the next MOVE event. Okay, and you've already spoken a little bit about what you're going to be talking about. Is there anything um, more that you can say about what you'll be um, speaking at the event? Well, I, I think I, I think uh, I pretty much summarized the, the, the key element and, and, and what we as a Hyundai what we are currently focusing in in the transition that we're going from uh, pure ownership uh, and as an OEM transforming toward becoming a mobility as a service provider and 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 offering more usership model to our uh, both private and um, business clients. Um, I would also mention what is. Uh, the criteria that we're looking at when when we launch a new uh, scheme, obviously from the perspective of the the the, the geographical uh, uh, elements, from the regulative regulative framework, sorry, uh, and so forth. So all the elements and the criteria that we're looking at when we are um, planning the next initiative. That's lovely. Yeah, thank you so much for taking the time to speak to us today. Really appreciate it, and we'll see you in June. Okay, looking forward, yes. yes.